Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through dynamic source routing protocol. So basically, whenever we are traveling from one place to, sorry, one uh, node to another node, we will be traveling through different different steps, right? So if it is like a directed graph, let us assume it has a directed graph. So there could be multiple ways to reach from one node to another node, right? So that is the reason where we will be finding the shortest node by using this thing. So discovering the route between the source and destination whenever required. So operation is based on source routing. So it is nothing but the sender to the receiver, the complete path we will be calling it as source routine. Fine. Okay. So here immediate nodes do not maintain routing information to the route, the packet to the destination. So initially at the initial state, you will be maintaining the initial state and the final state with the variable fine so in this way guys if you ask me in this way so for a e a is the initial and e is the final state fine okay so now let us go through it okay so less network overhead as the number of message exchanges between the node is very low so when we compare with the normal protocols this is far better guys so we are having Phases of DSR protocol. DSR is nothing but dynamic source routine. Fine. Okay. So here we are having routine directory and routine maintenance. So routine directory is nothing but root request. So root request packet is nothing but it will be having a source ID and destination ID. So it will be in this format guys. We will be having a particular ID and we will be having the source ID and destination ID. Fine. Okay. And we are, we are also having the root reply. Root reply is nothing but once the whole process is done and you reach the final state. Then the final state result is sent to the start state guys. That is nothing but sending the whole path from the receiver to the sender. Yeah, that's what I told. That is nothing but root reply. Fine. And for maintenance, we are having root error. So if any break occurs, we will be avoiding that root and we'll be moving back and we'll be continuing with the new root. Fine. Okay. And we will be having a root cache. Root cache is nothing but it stores the path which we are following. So this is what helps us to find the uh, this root reply guys. So we'll be sending back right. So that data is stored in this root cache. Fine. Okay. So now let us go through a small example. Okay. So I'll be solving a task guys. Don't worry. Okay. So let me take a piece of paper so that we can solve it. If possible you guys also take a piece of paper guys so that we can solve it. So that even if it comes in the examination we can just solve it faster. Okay. So let me fold the paper. Just give me a second. Okay. So the given graph is in this way. A, B, C, D, E. So he gave that this is our source and this is our destination. So he gave the directions in this way. Okay. And he started with the 4 A, E. So E will be our final state. Fine. Okay. So there is a possibility that from here we can go to here or we can go to here. So let us write the both the possibilities A, we moved from A to B. Fine. So here also for A, E, we moved A to C. So maintain in boxes guys so that the evaluator can understand it easily. So 2D we can go from here or we can go from here. So there are two possibilities for this. Those are nothing but 4 A, E, A tends to B tends to D. Similarly, 4 A, E, A tends to B tends to Sorry, A tends to C tends to D. Fine. Okay. So we can reach it till E in again in two ways guys. So from in this way we can go or in this way we can directly come. So if we come directly from here from D, it will be nothing but for here. I'll be writing here guys. It will be nothing but 4 A E. From A we move to B. From B we move to D. From D we will move to E. So this will be one. And similarly 4 A E. From A we move to C and from C we move to D. From C we move to D. E. So these two will be the possibilities. So which of the following is shortest guys? Okay. I think I draw the diagram a bit wrong. Okay. I changed the question basically. So the given question is from here. From C he gave to E but I changed it to from D to E. Fine. So here we got the length as same right. 1, 2, 3. So here also 1, 2, 3. So both the paths are efficient. So we will be passing the both the path to our start node. So here I took from C we go we need to go to E. So here this is the longest path right 1, 2, 
3 and 4. Here 1, 2 only. So this path will be sent back to our source. So this will be your final result. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this dynamic storage routing protocol. So in the next tutorial we will be going through the review of this chapter guys as we have just completed this chapter. So we will be going through the review and important topics of this chapter. Thank you. Thanks for watching.